everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we have another very special episode where we're continuing to talk about the new real estate contract. How many of you knew that real estate contract just came out here in April? And one of the things that I've learned by researching this and talking to some of the attorneys in town is that as a realtor, your errors and omissions insurance may or may not cover you if you're not using the most recent contracts. So make sure as a real estate professional, you know the most recent contracts and make sure you're utilizing the most recent contracts offered by your association. So now we're gonna talk last week about the loan approval, the new loan approval change in the contract, how it went from 45 days, you remember, to 30 days. It's no longer a loan commitment, but it's a loan approval issued from the lender. And you could talk to your local lender uh, about that and see about the changes and how they're dealing with the changes. Most of them, what they're doing is they're getting approvals from their clients. Instead of doing pre-approvals, they're actually approving these borrowers before you put them in the car. Also, it's important for investors to know if you're selling a house to someone with a financing contingency, you need to know what to look out for. So we've talked that the contract is a little bit seller-sided now, for whatever reason. The last change I wanted to talk about, because we had the loan approval, which was the big change, and now another change, which is pretty important, we're talking about title coverage. How many of you knew that permits, permits on a property, whether it's opened or expired permits, are not covered in title insurance? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Permits are never covered in title insurance. And frankly, a lot of title companies don't pull permit searches. You may have thought they did and you may have gotten lucky. But since permits are not covered in title insurance, there's no requirement for a title company or a real estate attorney to order a permit search on a property unless requested to do so. So what does that mean for you as a buyer? Well, buyers, you need to start making sure your realtors are ordering permit searches through the title company. Just because they're ordering a standard lien search does not mean that they're including permits. Now, as a courtesy, for many years when we ordered a municipal lien search, it came with permits and code enforcement issues just as that added bonus, but it was never a requirement. With this new contract, one of the things they did is they further defined what a municipal lien search is, and it does not contain permits. It says that the seller in the contract will provide any documentation that they know about permits. But if the seller doesn't know about a permit, they don't have the requirement to disclose it to you. And buyers, you only have in this new contract your inspection period, so whether it be 10 days or 15 day inspection period, to raise permit issues. So you're gonna ask the title company, usually on about day three or four by the time we get the file, to order a permit search. And our response to you is gonna be, we'll be happy to order it for you, but it may take an extra amount of days in order to get it back, because sometimes it could take 10 or 15 days to get that permit search back. So if you're not going down to the city, you would like us to order that permit search, just know your contract, you may need to extend your inspection period for permit and code issues so this way when that search comes back, if there's any problems, you now know how to deal with it. If you're the seller on the transaction, your title company may or may not be ordering a permit search. So you really need to know whether permits are being ordered or not, whether you're a buyer or a seller. You know, I feel they should always be ordered because why should a buyer buy a property with a permit issue? But buyers, you need to be aware. So to recap this video as we're gonna wrap it up, if you're a realtor representing a buyer or if you're a buyer, know that permits need to be checked within the inspection period, whether it's by you, by the county, if you go down to the county or the municipality, or you ask the title company to order you a permit search. The title company will be happy to include that service in their search when they order it. Second thing you need to do is make sure you extend your contract, your, your contract contingency for inspection for permit issues. It's very important because if that permit search comes back after your inspection period, revealing a permit, the buyer, you may not have an option anymore but to close with that permit. And a lot of the lenders don't care about permits because it's not a lien on the property. As long as you close, get their deed and mortgage recorded, the permits have no effect on title insurance or the lender having security to the property. So you need to make sure permit searches are being done, whether it's by you or by the title company. So as always, subscribe below. Thank you for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. That's a wrap talking about the new contract. There are a few other minor changes, but you need to come to one of our contract classes to learn about more of the changes in depth. 
but we've covered the two most important ones, the loan approval and permit matters being included in the inspection period and not part of issuing title insurance on the property. So thanks for watching. As always, subscribe below, and we look forward to seeing you at the closing table.